Hey, what's up guys, Tech Tribe here. So finally we're here and uh, today I'll be making the review of the skin which I got from Eastie. Um, actually, it has an app. It has an app just like um, the brand. So I'll just show you the app. So that's how it is, Eastie. For people who are planning to start installing the brand skin on their phone without using the case. Yeah, so just around December, um, the brand made leather skin so instead of using the normal skin which you find before which is just like vanillic skin um they start doing leather just like the same thing that nomad does if you know nomad they actually um they use really good italian leather to make their their products so um d brand started doing that and i ordered for d brand and they gave me they sent me a wrong um wrong package and i complained and they sent me another wrong one so hence two two and I complained and they sent me another wrong one. I got really pissed because they did similar error to me when I was installing, when I was buying for um, the new brand skin for my I iPad Pro. So I was really pissed and I complained about that. I sent them an email and I posted it. I posted these two on my Instagram. No, sorry. I posted these two on my Twitter and I was so surprised that they brand actually got back to me from my Twitter and said they were going to send me another case which i have no idea bro i have no idea how to go the address but i was so sure that information were hidden on the twitter <laughs> on what i posted on twitter but anyways i got back home from work i saw that they sent me the third one but before then i got tired of waiting so i tried these guys out so i i've been seeing this guy whenever i go online maybe trying searching for random um leather skins or leather cases but i've never ever tried so you know while waiting for the brand to you know fix the, the their error i said why not give a, a try to this guy so i read on the reviews and i saw I, the pictures i saw were really looking nice i'm like if this is leather why not give it a try so i did i did give it a try it took like two weeks for it to arrive though it did and guys did the installation and this is what i have so this is a golden um iphone 13 pro max for those of you who don't know, gold and green complement each other very well. Like when I say very, I mean very well. So if you have a golden iPhone, guys, try looking for a green case or a green skin. So um, quick comparison. If you anyone who is into the D brand one, if you come, if you're thinking, oh, D brand has been around for a while, should I really go for D brand or I should go for this one? I'll be honest. The D brand, um, like I said, the D brand packaging looks more premium in terms of packaging, but other than that, I think it ends there, bro. So um, this is the, the one they sent me. I'll just bring this out for quick comparison. This is leather, this is leather. Their profile is really thin, like you can see that it's so slim look that's how thin it is but when you compare to this you can see how thick that leather skin is on at the back of my phone so if this is on the back of my phone i really do feel like <laughs> to be honest i feel like i'm having a case on it already this is how it feels but when i'm having the d brand one don't get me wrong these are two different class of leather so this is a smooth uh, smooth finish why this got like those micro um micro holes on it to make you feel like you're having a leather like make it looks already patino that that to, to use the, the right word it looks as if it's already an old leather and it's going to get older actually over time i prefer the feel of this over that but this feels so premium like the green complements the gold and like i was saying the problem between with the brand and um, nomad is that they only have two colors that's the problem so they have just black and they have just brown so so for example you prefer to have another color i prefer to have colors sometimes on my things i'm doing like it's not like random colors bro sometimes i want my colors to look the way i want them to look like so for example the, this for example i just didn't want to have just plain white i thought maybe i could add something different and i did and that's different so the brand has just black 
and brown. I have a golden iPhone. I've slapped on the black D brand skin on gold before. Trust me, it looks really nice. But I know gold and green is better than black and gold. And one good thing about this this company guys is that you can put your name on the skin so they can just where they print Timbaland on boots with heat, they could print your name as well in gold or you can like, they can print it just the way Timbaland would do, like it's not in gold but you just see your name in there and which is really nice. I actually paid for that service and long story short, they're sending me another skin. So um, what do you guys think about this skin? Would you want to uh, install this on your phone? If you're interested, I'm going to leave the link down below. Trust me guys, like this, it protects your phone 100% compared to what the brand skin do. Just look at how thin that is. This feels like paper, like paper. This looks like the real deal. That being said, I'm not saying this is way better than the brand. I still love my D-Brand skins, but for now, I'm just going to be rocking with these guys and see how it goes. And for the Patino, like I said, this is actually a brand new skin. The reason why it's not looking super um, brand new is because I don't really like, um, I don't like it to be shiny, to look like brand new. So immediately I got it, did installation. I took coconut oil, put it on the microfiber cloth and just like play around with this just to make sure like, just to make it to start getting that old look. And it's like two days, barely two days actually, and I could already see it. And every now and then I just like play around here to get these corners instead of it being like bright. I just want there to get dark. And guys, in just two days I've been out with this device. Trust me, whenever I pull out my iPhone, people are like, whoa, what is that? I remember a colleague of mine having a phone like, bro, like your phone is actually looking different. I'm having an iPhone 13 Pro and you are having an iPhone 13 Pro but I'm holding your phone and it feels like I'm holding something different. Like saying this from this video, you might not understand, but trust me, if if you have gold, you can actually get any color. So basically it's not just green. You can actually choose red, leather skin, yellow um, leather skin, blue, any color of skin. Apologies guys. Uh, I was just talking to the camera. I had no idea that the camera stopped recording. So um, I was trying to say that this company, they actually have multiple colors compared to what you get from D-Brand skin and uh, what you get from Nomad, which are basically just um, black and brown. So um, at least here you have uh, multiple colors, you have up to eight colors, and you could also ask the seller if they have uh, a color of choice that is not even here on what I'm showing on the screen. You could ask for a particular color. If they have it, they will do it for you and they will send it to you. And that being said, I'm really enjoying this uh, the skin so far. And I plan to make another review in next 10 days time to show how this has patinaed so far because I really like my leather to get aged. And anything leather I buy, I try to make them patinaed immediately because that's the look I'm going for. So like I was saying, um, if you are interested in seeing how this holds up over time, Please do make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you see my next video coming up when I mount the other skin and I'll be comparing it again to the brand skin. So on the video you see there, that is me showing my black and gold on the brand skin and now I've moved to green and gold and I will tell you I'm really loving this skin so far. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Do leave your comment down below. If you have any question, anything so far, just leave your comment down below. I promise I'll respond. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.